first one, we always start with a full drop. Second, we've got a strong pillar. Third, we've got our leg swing. And fourth, we've got our follow. So again, with the full kick, our full drop needs to be our right. So we're going to be striking the ball directly through the longest part of the ball, which means we're going to get most power through it. So this bottom third of the ball is where we're going to be connected. Similar to our hand, needs to be dropped as low as possible. If we drop it too high, again, it's going to have a chance to deviate in the air and move, which is going to affect the outcome of our ball. The second aspect to our body is our pillar. In terms of our feet, we're going to be at about a 45 degree angle and all we want is one step into our kick. We're going to transfer onto our, onto our front foot here. It's going to be our kicking leg. We take a step. So it's almost forming a triangle with our feet. So uh, one point here, second point. And the third point is going to be with our plant leg. From this position, just to make sure we're keeping the ball low. And then we're, we're getting up nice and tall. We're getting into that strong pillar position, starting with our plant foot, strong hit, core on, chest and head over the ball. And from this position, we're kicking directly up through that ball. So this will be slightly different than kicking from hand. What we need to make sure that we're doing, because we want to kick that ball nice and high, is that our leg swing, instead of going at an angle like that, our leg comes up and kicks directly up, giving us that height. So without the ball, and kicking directly up. Quite a lot of people make the error of coming round the kick and kicking an angle like so. And coming round. Let's ensure we maintain that high foot. So one key to ensure that we get this right is to kick your hand. Okay, so right foot kicker is going to be kicking their left hand. So if we're here, we're in this position, hand is out, we've got a strong pillar, chest is over the ball, leg swing is coming up, and we're going to be kicking our hand. So keeping our hand nice and high, and we're going to be closing again, closing, snapping shut, getting our ball nice and high. So in action. step of our process is our follow through. Again, we need to be making sure that our momentum is carried on into our kick. We see a lot of scrum halves when they kick, falling back in this sort of position. This is really detrimental because we don't maintain all the power into that kick and we uh, use to the accuracy. What we're looking to do is when we kick, so we get in a nice strong position, we need to finish with our head down and going in the direction where we're going to be kicking. So for example, so there we have it, our four step process to our box kicking. We've got our ball drop, we've got our strong pillar, we've got our leg swing and we've got our follow. Four simple steps to make sure that we nail our box kicking and get it on point.